What's going on guys, TK Pryor with Master Wealth Photos LLC and today I just want to talk to you guys about the problems that plague economically the black community. I mean honestly we really do not know how to spend money on assets. You know we really spend all of our money on liabilities and we counterproductive to our own success. Think about what your parents left you. Did they leave you a legacy? Did they leave you debt? What are you doing right now to leave your children? Are you planning for the next generation so that your children have a leg up? Think about other races and why they are ahead of us. Financially, they are ahead of us because they have generational wealth that's passed on to them by their parents when their parents pass away. And black people refuse to do this as if it's a negative thing that's going to hurt us. And it technically is hurting us because we're not savvy enough to understand the importance of long-term strategic planning, of implementing things that empower our future, sacrificing today to put a little bit of time, energy, effort, and of course money into seeds for tomorrow. The little mustard seed that you plant into your future can create a lifestyle for your children that is much better than what you have today. But we are so competitively selfish and psychologically, you know, fucked up that we don't care. You know, if I speak to you in public, which I've done a hundred times, about, hey, set up a family trust, empower your future, your eyes roll back and you just walk away from my booth. That's going to help you. That's not something you should roll your eyes at. When we have an abundance of funds, we spend it on stupid things that don't help us. So why is that? And why do you laugh at someone when they talk about long-term strategic planning that could actually put you in a better financial position? All you have to do is take some of the money that you have right now and make it work for you. Are you doing something with the income that you have now to make your money work harder for you than you had to get it? Are you actually spending money on assets, income producing assets that multiply over time and get you to the passive side of life? You see, you're trained through school to trade your time for money. You're never taught and you don't want to sit down and read a book. You don't want to sit down and have someone teach you, hold your hand, encourage you how to leverage to get further. OPM, other people's money, learn how to leverage. Learn how to make your money work harder for you. Put it in places that multiplies in a safe environment that have a guaranteed principle, give you a hedge for the future. How many people know how to generate a tax-free income? All these people complain about taxes. I currently have around $5,000 a month that is completely tax-free. And when I try to teach other people to generate a tax-free income, they don't listen. Are you gonna listen to this video? Are you actually gonna schedule a consultation? I'm not out here flashing doing all of this grandstanding I'm actually trying to empower other families I actually genuinely care about your success and I'm rewarded long term and short term by helping other people if I can empower your family if I can get you to change your mindset if I can get you to focus on your future if I can get you to do any type of planning and if I can show you the step-by-step -step process in terms of generating a tax-free income, and then most importantly, making your tax-free dollars work for you so that you generate a better future. So it's more importantly to generate a tax-free income, then step two is to make that tax-free dollar work for you. Put it in a place that multiplies and puts money back into your house why does that create strife why does that create 
a system where people say I'm not interested. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't see how that could help me. I don't see how you're qualified to talk to me. You don't look like money. You're not out here flashing Bentleys, so I'm not listening to you. Well, that's kind of productive. A Bentley is the cost of a house. Why, do, why would I do that? If you want to drive uh, one of the businesses that I own, because see, I always tell you guys to operate with an EIN, not a social security number. One of the businesses that I own is called More Transportation. And if I'm going to drive around in a Bentley, it'll be because More Transportation owns the Bentley and then I'm able to lease it from the company, which means I don't own it, but I control it. Where do you learn tactics like that? Where do you understand how to leverage the system so that it works in your favor? When do you start aligning yourself with people that teach you step-by-step -step methodology and implementation tactics to get you further faster. You see the stuff you're doing, it's not working. You see the the engrandizement and the uh, materialism, all counterproductive. You win greater if you align yourself with tactics and strategies of the super rich. These tactics and these strategies are not new information. They're just new to you. What you have to do at this point is get in those rooms, learn those methods, and then apply it to your life.